All right, I'm now at the sixth and last uh, section, which is synecdoche, as I promised. And synecdoche is uh, the act of, like metonymy, it's similar to metonymy, which is having the part stand in for the whole. So if you look at page 23 here, I've clipped a little piece where they're having a fight, the Athenians and the Spartans, because they're not the same. Um, they're all Greeks, sort of. Um, they're from that same part of the world, which we now call Greece, um, are having a fight about who's brought more soldiers. Because the Athenians had a tradition of citizen soldiers, and the Spartans had professional soldiers. Uh, they've raised people to be professional soldiers. That's it. So uh, the Spartans are like, well, we brought soldiers. What do you? What have you got? You know, this is a new, you know, I'm a blacksmith. You know, and you, a baker. Spartans, what is your profession? And they just hold up <laughs> their spears, right? And so this little panel, which I'll highlight here, this is the kind of thing that I'm talking about where Miller is something of a genius, um, is a piece of brilliance because they don't need to say anything. They just hold, like, this is what we do. And that panel of the fist, one fist holding part of a spear and the other spear points gets it all across. We know exactly what's happened, right? So the little piece has represents the whole thing. So uh, synecdoche, as I say, like metonymy, um, we, a sort of common example, people will say, hey, do you wanna play a hand of cards? They don't mean you're gonna sit down and go, okay, well, I just played four cards. Like, well, that's a hand. Okay, I'm gonna go do something else. Like, no, no, we meant play cards. Like, oh, why didn't you say you wanna play cards? You said you wanna play a hand of cards. Like, we understand that. Um, it's the same kind of thing in the 19th century, 18th century as well, uh, when the, they often use this as an example, when a, a lookout on a ship at sea would say, you know, Captain, I see a sail. What they meant was, we see a fleet. Um, or uh, we'll say about, it's sort of a collective, but it's really this small piece that stands in for the whole thing. So you'll say, uh, about a ship, is it under sail? Um, if it's a sailing ship. Just one sail? It's like, no, it could be hundreds or you know dozens. Okay, uh, the same kind of thing happens on page 36 here where there's this guy, there's this Persian with a whip and of course the Spartans don't like this behavior and so there's this panel in the center with, <laughs> with a noise, the, the uh, sound effect, chack. And we just see the arm, we just see the, really the shoulder of them and the motion that is indicated, you know, by the hair of the uh, Spartan who has apparently done something. Well, we know he's cut down with his, with his sword, right? Um, and then we see the, the severed hand. So here it is, uh, whoops, uh, where you can, you know, it all comes down to this, the hand, basically the hand of, the arm of freedom cutting off the arm, the hand of slavery with the whip attached. You know, so it's, again, you can see this making a perfect film moment. Um, to some extent, then the very end of the book with this line of this hemisphere, basically of Spartans charging into the next, to the next battle, the people who survived, obviously, well, nobody survives the 300, but um, the other Spartans who are at home who didn't go with Leonidas, because Leonidas takes his men, right? The men who are loyal to him will go on to fight the next battle. This is more synecdoche. In other words, it is it represents the whole rest of the war, which was why they made the sequel, sort of, okay. Um, if you enjoyed the war, take home a souvenir. <laughs> there was a Zippo lighter special issue of the 300 with the Spartan helmet, uh, where the, the broken helmet is also a synecdoche for what has happened to the to the whole crew? Film often uses this. Like you'll see, you'll have a, you'll you'll hear off screen a massive car crash, and then you'll you'll see like a, a tire bounce <laughs> through by, and you're like, oh, you know exactly what happened, right? That's the same kind of thing. So the thing, the small, is standing in for the whole part. Is standing in for the whole. Uh, okay. So what final points do I have for you? Um, I think this is all pretty clear. I said in part two, think scene analysis, that's an assignment we're not doing this term. Um, driver image, yeah, 
Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I think the, the point about this comic, or graphic novel, if you will, is to go back and look again. Um, because, and spend time looking, because you're going to find, like, I've just given you some highlights. Um, it's a smart book. It's beautifully organized. It's beautifully made. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, it's a work of significant genius. Um, so, okay. Uh, so go back and have a look at sort of the moral of that particular story. All right, that is enough.